During a disaster, the forces of nature work against us constantly while we send dozens of brave men and women out into the field without very much intel. How do we know what supplies are needed? Where they should go? What skills would be useful? And of course, who really needs help now? Isn't it time to have a social network that saves lives? Hello everyone. We would like to introduce you to Distress Disaster Recovery System. Distress provides real-time four-dimensional data about a disaster area by crowdsourcing information and gaining historical data on a given region. Each node shown on the map represents either a resource, such as person able to assist, medical supplies, possible drop-off zone, or a person in need of assistance. This information can be used by our heroes in the field to more quickly determine what resources are needed for various rescue operations and to truly gain insight about what is occurring in the disaster area. Access to distress will be provided through mobile devices, which would allow every person in the field to add, modify, and view information on the fly. Let's take a look at the distress client in action. In this demo, we will simulate the events of a first responder within the first few hours of a natural disaster in Foster City, California. Please note that this version of distress is a prototype. The images and user experience you see will change as the program matures. In the center of the screen, we see a marking noting the current location of our responder. The location of the responder will be determined using the GPS capabilities of a Windows Phone 7 device. In the application bar, we are given the ability to mark a current emergency as being resolved, to add an emergency event or a new locale, the ability to calculate an efficient path, and the ability to refresh local information from the server. We can also configure the capabilities of the responder and modify how we connect to the server. Let's let Distress know our capabilities as a first responder. Distress comes with several templates of common first responder types like firefighters, paramedics, and police patrol officers. For our demo, we'll play the part of a paramedic. This allows us the ability to respond to all types of triage scenarios and perform medical evacuations to field hospitals and other stations. We'll also note that our ambulance can accommodate one passenger. Once we've set up our responder capabilities, we'll refresh data from the server. Let's zoom out so we can get a better understanding of the disaster. Several emergencies are shown here. The letters represent what that emergency requires. A M1 refers to a Tier 1 triage medical emergency. The colors of each event are a composite of the severity of the event and how long it's been since that event was first logged. We also see a field hospital on the map. This is a locale, a place where we can bring patients back to for further care once we've stabilized them for transport. Let's calculate a response path. Note that Distress has discovered an event, a Tier 1 severity civic disturbance, that we should not engage in. Distress will prune non-optimal events to respond to as a function of the first responder's capabilities. Once acquiring the first patient, Distress notes that the patient is in a critical condition and that we need to evacuate them for further care. It searches for the nearest field hospital to act as a hub for medevacs and optimizes our resulting path according to the distance and the composite of the nearby event severity, time since logged, and capabilities required for all nearby events. So let's save some lives. I note that there's a nearby Tier 1 medical triage event. I will move to stabilize the patient, prep them for transport, and embark them in my ambulance to the field hospital. Distress will then tell me to embark another nearby medical event, a triage Tier 2 event. I will stabilize the patient, embark them, then return them to the hospital. Finally, I will respond to the fire in progress at Booth Bay Park to give aid to the firefighters there. Distress notes that firefighting companies have first aid capabilities. Given that this is only a Tier 3 triage event, Distress notes that it's probably a better idea for me to focus on other critical medical emergencies first. Distress also works via web browser, which would provide command center-like functionality. Sitting behind that, Distress has a RESTful API that centralizes data in the cloud, which helps us deliver the most up-to-date data on every PC and mobile device. We'd like to give a shout out to all the tools that helped make this happen for us. Windows 7, .NET, Silverlight, Bing Maps, the Woosh engine as seen on Let'sWoosh.com, which uses Cake PHP, Ruby on Rails, Heroku, Amazon AWS, jQuery, MapQuest, and Google Maps. We are still developing this technology and are looking forward to polishing it up a bit more for the next round of Imagine Cup. Thanks.